All right, let's talk about Ziltec filament and why I like printing with it on my CR10. All right, so I just want to talk with you guys a little bit about the Zealtec PLA that I order off of Amazon. This was actually a recommendation that I found over on the CR10 Facebook page. If you are a CR10 3D printing user or if you're interested in buying one for yourself and printing with it, the CR10 Facebook group is a great community that has just tons of insight on how you can calibrate the machine, sharing prints that they're using, uh, files, print files and profiles that they're working with along with PLA recommendations or you know just what they're actually printing with. And one of these was a company called Ziltec that I was not familiar with and haven't really started printing with until maybe a few months ago when I first saw the recommendation. The first thing that caught my eye was that it is extremely cheap. The, the cost of the PLA is extremely, extremely affordable, which is great, which is absolutely great, especially if you're planning on printing huge, huge projects with this particular printer. And it seems to print great with the machine as well. Uh, unfortunately, I am not actually printing with this particular brand of filament here. I'm using uh, Hatchbox, which is sort of my other go-to at the moment for printing. But uh, a lot of the projects that I have done, like the huge Pickle Rick, or the, as I drop the roll of filament on the ground, or the Batman, um, uh, can't remember, manhole covers, couldn't remember the name of those, were also printed with Ziltec PLA. And I have had probably, I think, a few other orders of stuff that you've probably seen in my videos that were printed with that particular brand of filament. What's great again about it is that they have a variety of different colors. It comes in a few different options. They have ABS PLA, they've got PLA wood, uh, I haven't actually seen their carbon fiber option before. I might be interested in ordering that. I typically order this off of eBay. Uh, if you order, I think, was it two or three of them, you get free shipping. And uh, they might even knock off the price a little bit if you order more than one roll at a time. And the price of the rolls, I think, is about $15. $15? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what the price is. I probably should have looked that up before doing this video. but. Here's a fresh roll that I just received. Uh, comes very well packed. Uh, has a very cool looking spool holder. They've recently upgraded their spool holders to this cool little spiral design. Uh, and it just prints really well with this particular machine. It's not the best quality PLA that I've worked with, but it's very usable and workable, especially if you're planning on printing something and then finishing it off anyways. It just, it, you know, it's a, it's a much more affordable option than some of the other PLAs that are out there. And especially if you're being a little cost conscientious, if you will, uh, that I know a lot of you are. A lot of you have mentioned down below what you would, you know, what PLA would I recommend? So here, here's one that I would definitely recommend. Again, coming directly from the Facebook group. One of the things that they most recently included, which is what sort of prompted this video as well, is I thought this was great. They included a little tips sheet with the PLA. Initially, I was just gonna sort of talk about this, but it has print set settings that you might wanna work with, temperatures, bed temperature options, specifically to this PLA. Also talking about retraction settings. Um, they also talk about if you purchase in bulk, how you can get different discounts on their PLA. This is not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just am a fan of this PLA. Some of the other PLAs that, again, that I that I also work with is Make Shaper. This is probably this neon green PLA from Make Shaper is probably my favorite PLA to work with. I just absolutely love the color of the PLA. It's this bright neon green. It's really hard to pull up on camera here but it is just an amazing color and it prints super smooth on pretty much all of my printers. The other is obviously uh, Hatchbox. So I print a lot with Hatchbox and this is again another roll of their hot pink PLA. And I tend to print with everything other than black and white, which is exactly what I just ordered from Ziltec. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, I print with typically a lot of bright colors just because they show up better when I'm doing time lapses or videos or anything like that. But I just wanted to make this quick video and share my thoughts on this particular filament. If you're interested in picking up some of your own, I've got links down below to their eBay listing. It's typically where I pick it up from. They also have an official website that you can purchase it through, but 
I think it's a little bit cheaper if you order it through eBay. But I just want to share this with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you got lucky enough to get your hands on the CR10, definitely check that out. And also I'm assuming it will work great with other printers as well. But hey, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now. I was gonna use the handheld <laughs> for this video since it was just me directly talking to the camera again, but the last time I did that, everyone was commenting <laughs> that the camera was shaking all over the place because I tend to move my hands a little bit when I'm talking. So uh, hopefully that was a little bit better for you guys.